A blessed evening, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We lovingly welcome you all to the ninth and last night of our Christmas Novena of Masses. This Mass is offered for all of us, for all birthday celebrants, special intentions, and for all souls in Purgatory. Our sponsors in this evening's celebration are the following. Edelina Javeliana, Era Abiliar and Family, Montinola Family, Das and Mary Ann Crebrar, and Gonzaga Sisters. Together with the Malipayon Choir, let us now rise and welcome our Lord Jesus Christ in the person of his minister, Most Reverend Patricio A. Buson, SDB, DD, Bishop of Bacolod. the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what you have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, as we see how the nativity of your Son, according to the flesh, draws near, we pray that to us, your unworthy servants, mercy may flow from your word, who chose to become flesh of the Virgin Mary and establish among us his dwelling. Jesus Christ, our Lord, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit, refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. Lo, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day, to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with doom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. of the Lord 
is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. Lift up your hands and see your redemption is near at hand. Lift up your hands and see your redemption all rise. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy upon her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, there is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Before anything else, I really would like to apologize to you for having kept you waiting. Uh, I came in quite late. I, I don't want to make excuses, but I really did not anticipate the traffic would be that bad. We are on the last day of the Novena Masses, at least here in our Church of Carmel. And uh, I'm sure during the past days, we all, as one church, as one diocese, reflected on the theme for this year, the spirituality of stewardship. And each, each night or each morning, we 
reflected in the different elements on in this spiritually spirituality of stewardship on this last day i would just like to give you a synthesis of this spirituality as simply as i can so that it becomes really clear to us and uh, becomes easier for us not only to understand it but to live it we chose this uh, theme because we believe that if we learn to live the spirituality of stewardship, we will be able to live the call to discipleship, what it is to be a follower of Christ. We will be able to live that more concretely. What is this spirituality of stewardship? Kasimple lang gin. Ina nga spiritualidad sang pagkatugyanan. Tinugyanan. Ina na base sa isa ka kamatuuran a fact nga gali kita tanan tinugyanan tinugyanan lang hindi kita tagiya sang bisan ano nga ara sa aton saint paul said in one of his letters what do you have that you have not received and if you have received it, why do you claim it as your own? Everything we have comes from God. It is His. And everything is given to us in stewardship. We came into this world with nothing that we can claim as our own. As our own. Just as we leave this world, with nothing of our own. Nabunag kita, nagsulod si kita sa sinaya kalibutan, nga huba. Hubo. Hubad. Waiwai kita la. And that's the reality. And yet, even if we came into the world without anything, the Lord added gift upon gift, grace upon grace, filled our hands, our hearts, our life with His grace. And uh, if we only realize that, that reality, we will, we will live differently. At least three things will change in us. First, we become grateful. Kay tanan, bugay halin sang Diyos mo. Regalo. We are in these days of Christmas, the happiest days of the year. Because among other things, we receive and we expect gifts. And we always cherish that feeling when we receive gifts. However small, the thrill, the excitement of opening the gift, anticipating what it could be. And even how small and, and little it is, we appreciate because we know that it is a token of love. Ina ma-appreciate natin sa Pasko, kada adlaw kita nagabaton sa regalo, tanan nga ara sa aton, halin sa Diyos. So kita mapinasalamatun. And when we are truly grateful, we become joyful. Joy is simply the overflow from a grateful heart. Kay tanan bugay. Hindi bala. Jesus once said, Seek and you shall find. No? And the context, of course, when he said this, is the context of prayer. Ask and it shall be given unto you. Not and it shall be opened unto you. Seek and you shall find. Katood gini na. Ako, testigo gini akong kabuhi. Ano gini na pangayo natin sa Diyos? Why gini dudang mag-abot sa atin? Sa iya tion, sa iya pamaagi. Not necessarily at the time we wish or in the manner we wish. But it comes. 
Pero even this statement taken very, ano lang, humanly, psychologically, tuod gini na. Pangita ah, kag imo makitaan. Ano yung mag ginapangita, imo makita gini. Kung ginapangita mo lang sa imo kabuhi, mga malaw ay, mga malain, mga salawayon, amo na, amo yung makita ni mo, kadamo. Amo na, nga, there are people nga, why git kalipay, kay puro lang reklamo. Puro na ga, ano na, self-pity, nga siya malas gini ila kabuhi, nga ay sila. And, and, and uh, they are, they are, they're mad with life, galit sa mundo, galit sa tanan, kabudlay of dan, no? Bisa na ikaw, maglikaw ka na lang sa ila kay, ka very toxic. Ikaw man, mangin very pessimistic and very, very negative. Pero kung mangita kita sa kaayuhan, sa atong kabuhi, ay, amo man, why, why unta? We can never count our blessings makatulog na lang kita wa wa ipakita katapos isip sang bukay sang Dios grateful and because we are grateful we are happy second the spirituality of stewardship makes us responsible kay kun ang ara sa aton gali indi aton indi kita tag-iya tinugyanan lang kita we become responsible Hindi kita pataka himos ang anuning aras sa aton. Kaya kita sukton. We'll, we will be accounted for whatever we do with what God gave us. And that's we read in the gospel. The talents, the parable of the talents. I gave you five. What did you, what did you do with them? Lord, here are the five you gave. I multiplied it. I doubled it. Here are ten talents. And the Lord expects us, kung ang Diyos maghatag sa aton, sa aton sang bugay, kalabanan ang bugay is in seed form binhi. Ihatag naton niya sa aton, agud ini aton atipanan, amligan, nga ini, inurture naton, na magtubo, maghamtong, kagmangin, mabinungahon. That is how He gives life to us and what he expects of us. And amo na, tan amo bala ang mga ang mga bugay ginhatag sa aton. Una sa tanan, ang aton kabuhi. Every moment is a gift from God. The air we breathe comes directly from God. Kay pwede man makagagahong siya kung taton niya paghatag sang hangin. In three minutes time, kita tanan patay. And how, how much we take life for granted. Our body, our health, we take it for granted. We, we treat our body as if it is our own, as if it were our own. It's not. Amuna ang ginaabuso natin. Bisyo. Adik-adik. Sometimes we can be so irresponsible. One of the most beautiful gifts God has given us, our family. Let us value our family. Let us thank God for our family. Let's not take it for granted. Many times, the gift God gives us, we never recognize or value until it's taken away from us. Four days ago, I said mass. Hindi uh, to misadigalyo kay hindi man pwede kagahon. So we had mass, novena mass at seven o'clock there in the prison in Takuling. They were there, more than seven hundred men, prisoners. And I was precisely telling them the gifts that we we lost. It's only now we realize. Siling ko hindi ba? Handom sang kada isa sa inyo. Sa sini nga Pasko, ang atani, you spend Christmas with your family. And sadly, you can't. 
hindi na lang natin madiparahan nga di ay gali-gali. Kabilidon sa mga bugay, ginatag sa atin sa Diyos. You husbands and wife value each other. You are God's gift to each other. Remember, ah, it was God who gave Eve to Adam and Adam to Eve. Amo man sa inyo. Di ba? Every love story is really unique but very, very beautiful also. Nga, ah, ako nga taga Mindanao, nagdayo, nagdayunay kita. Ikaw taga, diin, taga Ilocos. And, amo na, nga kita ang nag sa tuod lang why pa kamo na bata ara na kamo sa huna-huna sang Dios gintigana na sa isa kag isa to be gift to each other so treat each other with care appreciation and gratitude and make yourself a true gift to your spouse a gift is meant to give joy Are you a source of joy for your spouse? Kay kisa, daw hindi ah. Kitaga, kisa may naga hinusuda. Ano man ni nga kabuhi? Nga agin pangasawa ko pa ini. Sa kadamo sa naga pangaluyag sa akon, nga amoy ini ang akon gin, gin sugot. Sus, di malason, buisit sa kabuhi. Palahubog, tamaran, Ako lang ang nagkatraba. You are definitely not a gift. You don't bring joy but misery. Kadamo man, maybe also the husband could say, ano man ni sa kadamo sa mga babae nga, asya pa akong gin, gin pangaluyagan. Ay, kalbaryo sa buong akong kabuhi. Hindi ko kagwanta. Ha? Daw, daw impyerno kay, ay, kasabad, bilog ka adlaw, yak, 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 yak. And, ay, Let us be gifts to each other because that is what we are. That is what God gave us, gave you. Well, I, why kulabot, ha? Ay, kabay pa, no? Uh, so, God gave you as husband and wife to each other to bring joy to each other because you are gifts of God for each other. The same, your, fa your, your children, take care of your children. They're so precious. Tinugyanan lang ka mo. Amo na ang istorya sa Pasko. Si Jose, tinugyanan lang, hindi imo anak, ina. Si Maria, tinugyanan lang, hindi imo anak, ina. Anak sang Diyos, ina. Gintugyan sa inyo. And the same way, our children, Our community, the church, they're God's gift to us. Our nation. Be responsible in nation building. Each of us has a part. And Kisa, we are so responsible. You know, again, the gift of freedom, we regained it. And we really valued it when we, we didn't have it for so many years of martial law. And now, we don't take care of it and we can lose it again. Pataka lang kita buto kung sino din, basta sino ang pinakataas ng hatag, ibaligi ang buto. Oh no. Let us be responsible. And those that are in authority, hindi ka mo tag-iyas ang puder, tinugyanan lang ka mo. Inanggahom ka ara sa inyo, gintugyan sa inyo sa katawan na nagbutang sa inyo, dira. And ultimately, ina sad alin sa Dios, for all authority comes from God. The world, the whole of creation, katahum sang iya gintuga ang kalibutan, kagintugyan sa aton. Anong ginhimo naton? So irresponsible, naguba ginguba naton. Buslot buslot na ang ozone layer. Amo na nga this climate change. Amo na na. Subong, 
We don't experience any more typhoons, super typhoons. Amuna na ang normal. So, let us be responsible. God has gifted us with everything that we have. Let us be thankful. Let us be responsible. And thirdly, if we truly live this life, this spiritual of stewardship, we become generous. Truly generous. Kay kaalwan sang ginoo. Kita man, dapat mangin maalwan man. If joy is the overflow of the heart, that overflow should be translated into generosity. Tanawa pala, no? Kung maghatag ang Diyos sa atun, tama ka bastante. More than, that, more than we need. May paaman, pirmi. Nga ah. May duga, nga ah. Agot kita makapaambit. Bisan atun lawas na, no? uh, it's very, my realization, no? May pari kami da, hubin pa, pero may sakit. Ang iya kidney nag-fail. So, uh, we thought that uh, since he's still very young, kung maantani, magka-transplant siya, we, we could really save him. And thank God, so many generous people, when they learned of it, they pledged, sige, sige Bishop, buligan namun. Sige Father, buligan namun. And so we were, we were very grateful that at least there's the support Ang problema lang ang donor. Pag kabal, nang nabalan inis ang iya barkada, ay katahong kay, ang iya mga barkada, handa mangin donor. Sige, Father, okay lang. So, nalipay kami, sanggim test sila if they could uh, be a good donor. Wa ay nakapasar. Nga ah, kay tanan mga pula, hubog mo. So, wa ay ginbaton. Anyway, we are, we are looking still for a donor. But it came to my realization. Tan awa bala. Hasta ang atun lawas. May kadamo sang paaman to live, to survive, and even live fully. We don't need two kidneys. One is enough. Nagin hatagan kita sang dua. Basi, basi, for this. Kung may kinanglan, makahatag kita. I mean, even our eyes, no? Kinanglan bagi dua. Isa lang, mas focused pagani. So, kaaluan sang Diyos, no? And so, kita man, kabalong mangin maaluan. We are in this season of preparation for the coming of Jesus. Christmas is a beautiful a beautiful way of how God calls us to this spirituality of stewardship. All the characters of the Christmas story teach us how to be stewards. As I said, Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, said the angel to her. And that is not only true with Mary, it is true with all of us. We are full of grace. Everything that we have is grace. And when Mary received the grace, the greatest of all grace, the source of all grace, Jesus himself, she did not keep Jesus to herself, but she gave it to the world. And that is true also with all the gifts that God has given us. They are given not for ourselves, but to be shared with others because we are only stewards. My prayer for you for this Christmas is that you may learn, we all may learn this beautiful spirituality. And if we do, the following of Christ becomes so much easier and happier. Even Christ is the great steward The letter to the Philippians, he divested himself of his divinity and clothed himself with our humanity. And he was entrusted with that mission by the Father, which even at, at times 
he found it difficult. But being entrusted by the Father with that mission, he gave up himself completely. And uh, as a true steward of the Father's will, he gave his life that we may live. Please all rise. The birth of the precursor announced the, the imminent coming of the Savior. Like the neighbors and relatives of Zechariah and Elizabeth, let us rejoice in the Lord who visits us in peace. And let our response be, Lord, make our hearts rejoice in you. Lord, make our hearts rejoice in you. Lord, purify our hearts that we may offer you praise and fitting service, we pray. Lord, make our hearts rejoice in you. Let us rejoice in the happiness of our neighbors and be near to them in their sorrows, we pray. Lord, make our hearts rejoice in you. Bless families who gather together at Christmas and renew their love, solidarity, and support for one another, we pray. Lord, make our hearts rejoice in you. Let us be grateful for the gift of children and grace them to know, love, and serve you, we pray. Lord, make our hearts rejoice in you. Let us rejoice in the birth of the precursor, for our salvation is near at hand, we pray. Lord, make our hearts rejoice in you. Loving Father, may we be ready with lighted lamps to meet your beloved Son at his coming and rejoice in your countless blessings. Amen. Please be seated.
Please all rise. Gracious sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation by which divine worship in its fullness has been inaugurated for us be our perfect reconciliation with you, O Lord, that we may celebrate with minds made pure the nativity of our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us be, give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that we may find he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, myself, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also my, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. command and fond the divine teaching we dare to say Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those who are joining our live stream celebration, let us now pray the spiritual communion prayer. O oh my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament. I love you and I desire you to come into my heart. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, O oh, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love consume me, that I may die for you, who died for love of me. Amen.
Please all rise. Let us pray. Grant your peace, O Lord, to those you have nourished with these heavenly gifts, that we may be ready with lighted lamps to meet your dearly beloved Son at his coming, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you.